Hi, this is a novelty clock. Probably made about the 50s, I think. I'm not quite sure about that, it could be earlier. It's an English clock. The actual owl itself, the front, is all made out of cast metal. And it's got a, a wooden back. I brought this online off a well-known auction site about a couple of months ago, probably a bit longer than that. And uh, it didn't have the pendulum, I had to buy a new pendulum. The weight was still there. It's so in a terrible state. The clock was full of ash and it really smelt strongly of smoke. So I had to make a new wooden back for it. I had to strip down the whole mechanism, clean it all up and obviously clean up the face. The actual face of the clock has been renewed because the other one was so bad you couldn't actually make out the numbers. So my wife who does card making made a whole new face for it and it was pretty good. As you can see the, the eyes wobble as the pendulum goes. It's actually connected for a rod. I'll go to the side in a minute you can have a look. It's a good beat on this clock. It makes a lovely ticking noise. Yes, have a look at it. You should be able to see from the side more carefully. And then you can see. You should be able to just about make out the metal coming out where it's connected to the rod to the back of the eyes. put some pictures on it at the end and you can see the state of the clock before I restored it. As far as I know it was painted gold. When I got it you could see it was painted gold originally so I've kept it original. It's made by a company, I forget the name, it's P Pico or something like that. P-I-A-C-C-O I think it's spelled. Like I say an English company that no longer exists unfortunately that made, I looked up, there's very few clocks online that they've made and they seem to be from about the 50s so but who knows it might be made before the war pre-war like 1930s as you can see I put a washer on the weight because it wouldn't pull enough when I connected the eyes up and the pendulum to it there wasn't quite enough drive to it so I just need that little bit more weight to keep the pendulum going and that worked a treat just that little washer just to give it a little bit more weight so there you go that's a tip if you've got a cuckoo clock you might need a tiny bit more weight or weight driven clock just put a little washer on there or something like that and it does make all the difference as, as you know the pendulum keeps it uh, regular so you can adjust that anyway that slides up and down once again like I say you can buy them online anyway for novelty clocks but yeah, it's a nice clock. The ones I've seen before are always made out of wood and come from Germany, but this is an English one. Nice clock.